Hi Capricorn, welcome back. We're here to do your update, your psychic intuitive energy for the month of August and what I see coming through with the cards. I have pulled the cards. We may pull the camera down a little bit. I've got my spark there. <laughs> okay, now what I have used, Abraham Hicks cards, Laws of Attraction, Native Spirit deck, and your chakra is the crowning energy, and then I've used the tarot, okay? I'm going to clarify, and we're going to channel some of the intuitive messages of what I see for you in the month of August. The first thing I see from the chakra is the heart chakra, and there's something you're not wanting to regret. You're trying to repair, you're trying to change around, but you also could have dissipating passions for things. Makes sense, Venus is retrograde. But again, this forgiveness, it's almost like this unfinished business here. Um, there also could be, like I said, revisiting those circumstances. Am I passionate about something? Am I not? And I, it's almost like I'm seeing the dandelion. Um, I believe it's standing like the flower and loves me, loves me not. And it's like weighing the pros and cons of a circumstance. You're kind of wondering to a degree if it's fixable. You also could be looking at your own personal vibration right now with vitality, looking at your health, looking at your nutrition, because with these two cards hand in hand, especially with Chiron and Aries retrograde, really caring for yourself, you know, any underlying situations to get your vitality back, looking at that. Many of us in July did feel quite fatigued. There was a card that popped out. It was from a different deck, but I'm going to make reference to it regardless. Whenever I, I get the cracker or um, anything relating to Christmas, it gives me two kind of time stamp points, and that is either July or it's the end of the year come Christmas. And to me, what my guides were showing me was there was something really that was kind of niggling at you in July and moving into August, you're kind of thinking to yourself, okay, is it going to be any different, but really wanting to solidly make some changes in your life. I feel you really, um, you're aware of your personal power. You're aware of, we have the Abraham Hicks card, getting into your vortex. I can always enter my vibrational vortex of creation. Um, again, number six, six, six in um, astrology can relate to your health, but it's the house of our personal undoing at times. It's the things we do, the habits we have. I feel this is more in the context of you, you tr you're stepping back and you're trying to take the mature approach with the situation. You're aware of your personal power. You're not quite sure if it's fixable. You're having a look at it um, and you're just biding your time. Some of you could have some very grand surprises. This could be especially if you were waiting on achieving something within the wellness zone. It could be coming to a head and it could be coming a lot quicker than you think. And that, that can be like the outcome card. That's sort of what I'm seeing, the star card in tarot. I don't think you were quite anticipating it being as quick Yeah, something very quickly is coming in. This is your crowding energy. You may need to have the strength to persevere forward through something. And I do feel, especially for those of you, um, you know, it's all the smallest things in life. And I think if you've been very strong and you've been determined, um, some of you could feel quite worn out. If you have, you know, if you have been really looking to um, keep balance, it's funny, this is the first card I've got where I'm, I'm looking at more the extremes in life. You could also be dealing with a person that has experienced in previous times. This could be a romantic connection, extremes. It could have been habits, um, health-related dynamics, but and even the vibration within the romance house, it could have gone to extremes. I do have this feeling that you're going to get into some sense of balance. Um, I do feel also a lot of you are saying to yourself, gee, you know, um, looking for sunnier destinations, looking for locations that is going to bring you more to your zen space. Um, some of you are even making reference to the fact it's been a long time since you've been able to do such. Apologies if you can hear my puppy. She can hear me working late. I feel... I'm going to pull a clarifier on this. It feels as though you want to be responsible where it comes to love.
it's also with the things that you want to do. Um, you've got two kind of frequencies coming through. It's like the little birdie on the shoulder saying, I've got to be responsible. I can't drop the ball. But there's something that really is, uh, it's almost like you're cautioning yourself, but at the same time, it's like nothing ventured, nothing gained. So there is this catch-22 circumstance. Um, you know, my guides are saying, jump in the deep end, give something new a try. If it is traveling abroad, if it is doing something different, um, it's almost like there to you spiritually, there's either some sense of a risk with a situation. Um, but again, it's saying it's a journey. This could be a journey to the past. This could be a journey to um, revisit a circumstance. It, whatever this is, it's using it as a metaphor. And if you do need to revisit something to repair it, to clean it up, to sort it, it is saying that it will be viable um, and to give it a shot. <coughs> Interesting. Okay, some wounds are coming up for some of you in the month of um, August. This also can be uh, a time where I would say mid-month, try to keep your bearings. Um, things can happen quite drastically and suddenly our manifestation power can be quite large as well. We do have the Lionsgate portal that is occurring in August, but separately we have Uranus and Taurus moving retrograde. I do think something is going to happen quite quickly. Um, this can be reconnecting with a person from the past. This also can be... Um, you know, being quite unprepared with the circumstance, but nevertheless, I do feel you'll be able to deal with it. It just may take you a little bit by surprise. Um, you may also this month be quite surprised by kind of changing. I'm hearing sliding doors, but it's like sliding doors with connections and friendships and um, maybe even bumping into some of them, maybe even reconnecting to a person that maybe you had a falling out with. But again, I also feel there's a possibility where you could be looking at them and really feeling that you directly have outgrown them. Um, some of them can have very firm opinions towards what they feel you should and shouldn't do and that also can get on your goat yeah it's like asking you not to get up in your head with it um to understand you know whatever your dreams are whatever your hopes are they physically belong to you people will have opinions but it's your life to actually walk through and only you firmly can actually make that decision I just feel they're cautioning you. It is coming from a place of love. It also could be um, a little bit of control, but I do feel Capricorn, you're moving beyond it. Okay. Um, there could be some paranoia. There could be some worry due to maybe people's opinions. This also can be flashbacks and memories, especially if this is a context of a romantic situation. Hmm. I also feel for some of you, you could have an unexpected visitor. Some of you also, um, they're showing me there may be a flatmate situation going on. So this can be, um, you know, really considering your options could be due to a financial situation and you're looking at maybe having a flatmate. Some of you are directly creating um, room between you and another individual. You know, sometimes we tend to look at this as, you know, it's happening to you, but I think you're physically creating this. There can be a bit of a distance. Um, again, this can be from people maybe that are quite flirtatious. Um, nevertheless, I do feel you're trying to create some space. I do feel you're being cautious, um, especially if this is a person coming back from the past. Some of you could be very cautious because of it. I think you're just being realistic, but you're trying to pace yourself. I get a lot of naysayers. There's a lot of people that have opinions around you. It's almost like they're the expert. This can be friendships, family. They do. They are honestly coming from a place of love. Um, but whatever this is, I do feel it's quite a large decision you're going to be making in the month of August. I feel, you know, you're going to have to rise above the situation. Sometimes it's only when we go through these things with the eagle medicine that we actually see the truth of the situation. Um, and I'm hearing the term to fly or not to fly. 
um, to see or not to see. And I, th I think there's possibilities, but I think people are cautioning you, and this also could be your intuition and your psyche, cautioning you, um, uh, you know, to really rein it in and, and, and to be careful not to jump in the deep end. Um, <clears throat> your cards are showing you are uh, looking at that. It is impacting uh, maybe some decisions. There also could be some individuals that maybe don't have your best interests at heart and, and, and are causing some issues. Um, okay, they're making reference to being cautious around a vehicle. Also being very careful about what you are saying to individuals um, because the term the cat is out of the bag can come about. But this can be especially with your own personal life and your creative ideas. I do feel some of you can be getting pay rises. Um, there can be some concerns around wealth at this point, but I do feel you're going to have a way to actually increase that net worth. And I do think also money can be coming back to you, but you can be tying up loose ends. I will love you and leave you. I trust that you have a fantastic month. Keep safe. Be cautious by mid-month. It can get a bit testing and feel free to join our membership hub for updates. Thank <music> you.